Hi, I'm Ghosty, and this is TLDR Plays, the series where we review games in 5 minutes or less so that you can decide whether they're right for you. Slay the Princess is a psychological horror visual novel. This point-and-click story has many branching paths to explore, even in just the demo. Just a heads up before this video starts, there are some spoilers ahead, but they are all found in the demo. A mysterious voice sets your task. You have one goal. You are here to slay the princess. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. You play as the hero, the protagonist of the story, and throughout the game you control the narrative, being guided or maybe even misled by the narrator. In just the first two chapters of the demo alone, the outcomes can be drastically different. Slay the Princess is entirely composed of hand-penciled art. Every background and sprite is drawn by the amazingly talented Abby Howard. In addition to the stunning visuals and well-written narrative, the game is fully voice acted, getting you completely immersed in this unsettling environment. The story is full of dark humour and there is plenty of witty banter between you and the other voices you encounter. The music, although repetitive at times, is a great backing for the endeavour you are about to embark on, and it uses moments of silence and distortion perfectly to keep you gripped. As you approach the cabin, or maybe you choose not to, you'll need to make your decision. Will you be completely trusting of this voice you hear and slay the princess? Or will your heroic instincts take over and lead you to try and save this damsel in distress? And speaking of the hero, there are these short instances where you see your own hands, and they are definitely not human. You seem to be a lizard of some sort, which leads me to wonder if there are other non-human folk around, or is the hero an anomaly? After making your mind up over what to do with the princess and succumbing to the consequences of your decision, you'll find yourself stuck in a time loop. How you get out of this loop, or if it's even possible, is currently unknown, and a big part of why I can't wait to play the whole thing. You will die a lot in this game, and each time you die, you seem to find yourself in the woods. Before you lies a very familiar looking cabin with a very familiar voice in your head, possibly an unfamiliar one too. Is the princess just as you remember her, or has she taken on a new form? It all comes down to the choices you made in the previous chapter. There are differences each time you loop back around, some subtle and some leaving you to wonder what more this game could throw at you, and it all seems to come back to who you can put your trust in. The narrator hasn't given you much of anything to make you fully trust them. However, the princess isn't exactly the most stable person you've ever met, considering she can cut off her own arm without even so much as a flinch. Slay the Princess has full controller support, however it was a bit buggy once or twice for me during dialogue options that had a long list to choose from, but other than that, both the mouse and controller worked well. Now I am new to this genre of game, but the intensity of it all and the unknowing feeling I ended up with after finishing the demo has left me dying to find out more. It's now one of my most anticipated games of the year, and I can't wait to fully dive in and see what path the story will take. The replayability of the demo alone has me excited for what's to come. It's the perfect upcoming game for spooky season. Slay the Princess is set to release on Steam on the 20th of October, but the demo is out now. And don't forget to add it to your wishlist if you enjoyed it. It really helps out the devs. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all those indie games out there. Bye!